right, here we go again. Okay, so I want to start this by answering a couple of questions I'm getting quite regularly. Um, the first one is I'm getting about one person a week who's asking to join. Um, I'm running this on something awful forums. It's pretty much only open to goons, um, who are people registered there, and we're pretty full at the moment. So, sorry, not really much chance of a random internet person getting on here. Second one is the program we're using is Fancy Grounds 2. Um, you know, should be easy enough to Google from there. I quite like it. It's got a few oddities, but yeah, every virtual tabletop does. Right, let's get back onto the game with the public service announcements over and done with. Um, Maybe we'll get it for a few J for G's of our own. Okay, so you've finally reached Lucian's breath after a slight detour that led to you destroying a, a world that's lived in Utopia for 20,000 years and creating what's pretty much a new demon world. So, successful last session. It was also, an accident. <laughs> yeah, you basically wiped out that entire place. No, you didn't wipe it out. That's actually a misnomer. You turned it into a demon world by well, accident. Well, it was full well, of it's not our fault. What, else, what else do you expect to happen? Yeah, but it was the no, ship but. that pierced the bubble. <laughs> we caused fault. it. It well, was no, already I... worthy of exterminators. Now it's just more so. Well, yeah. with any that... luck, it got sucked into the warp, so whatevs. Not this is sticking into guys. accusations of double heresy. <laughs> <laughs> on, the, on the plus side, um, nobody except for your bridge crew knows exactly what happened there. So, yeah, if you want to keep it quiet, it's fairly simple. I mean, replacing your bridge crew is quite easy. I like the bridge crew. Well, they're faceless goons. <laughs> One of them is Lieutenant Nahura. <laughs> well, that's your fault, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Lieutenant Bob Nahura. He still, he still wears the mini skirt, though. Cheers, oh. <laughs> <is> great. Ha <laughs> It's just the specific sect of the Imperial cult he follows, you know, you can't really blame him for. Yeah. <laughs> His holy transvestites. Have you been talking to the Sisters of Battle recently? You were trying to avoid talking to them. They're crazy. <laughs> Pointless. Okay. Um, so, what What evil plan... Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> so, let's go back to what we another role. So, I decided that because of your, you know... That was a bit of a harrowing session, so I've granted everyone, you know, through the goodness of my own heart, an extra corruption point and insanity point each. I have added Which one. Which puts added sin. Yep. yep. Put sin and on corruption, sin. which Woo. means I get to roll the willpower against malignancy. Oh. Now, do you get a bonus or something because of your house? As a specific uh, no, that's, that's mutation. This is a malignancy. This is different. Oh, yeah, sorry. I was desperately trying to give you a hand, though. No, no, I don't get any bonus. I don't get any penalties yet, because I've only got ten corruption. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's just plus zero at this point, isn't it? Yeah, You're so I roll... And I took a willpower, um, like, that's part of the reason I took more willpower last se after last session. So, rolling against 54, and... Boop! I'm a bit malignant. <laughs> You're Excellent. A bit malignant. You only roll on... Do you roll on the normal malignancy table, or do you use the Yeah, I roll malignancy. I use malignancy. It's a malignancy table. It's just right. a mutation, so I get to roll on my navigator table. What table? What so it's our first permanent malignancy. Oh yeah, this is page three hundred. Excellent, thank you. I skipped past that somehow. I must have taken two pages at once. Yep. There we go. A wonderful D one hundred. One another D one hundred. Now that I've used all my good rolls, I get an eleven. You're dark, Eleven. You're dark-hearted. Your character grows. Reduce fellowship by one d ten. <laughs> you're becoming increasingly cruel, callous, and vindictive. Well, you're, yep. you're, gonna, you're, you're a psycho. You're halfway there already. Uh, only lose, still. lose four. So I've got thirty fellowship now. Yep. Well, your fellowship is equal to mine now. Wow. I thought I had the lowest fellowship on the ship. I really did. Apparently not. <laughs> yep, I've got 30. 37. All right, My I've apologies. Got 30 now. Talking to everyone. <laughs> Until I get um, 
it's one of the navigated mutations I really want because it's like a plus 20 to intimidate or something <laughs> <laughs> and interrogate but yeah Sin, Sin, the whole adventure has just left Sin a bit you know world weary jaded twisted yeah. evil so well on the, on the that many psychers probably wore on her yeah probably actually yeah and they're all that, so happy as well. That and trying to do the uh, li a lit the whatever lidded stare on a demon host. Yeah. Uh, no, I was. What was? What was it? Was it lidless stare I went for? Yeah, you tried to burn. Oh no! I went holding my gaze. I wanted to just shut him down. Either way, it was a bad idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was a perfectly good idea. It just didn't work. When you look, when you look into the <laughs> abyss, the abyss looks into you. And now and people are like you forced. Okay, so, having arrived at Lucian's Breath, um, only slightly worse off than you were before, um, what's your yeah, next plan? we didn't plan? pick a hit. Yeah, but, yeah. Well, you, um... Mikari's I did. Mikari's did, but that would have healed up by now, it's fine. Yeah, I was thinking more along the lines of the ship. <laughs> oh dear, yes. Although, I make sure that other ship is still around. <clears throat> So, <laughs> what is your plan for this session? Silence. Uh, I think we came up not. with <laughs> we were going to get some basic mining equipment for Belka, and then because we were looking through all the books, we were going to yeah. start hunting for uh, another wing of fighters. We were looking at something else. Uh, the archeo um, tech thingamajig. The, the yeah, fight, the Hephaestus or seeker. That's the one. That's Which is a funny. fantastic thing to say when you've got a list. Um, Good point, yeah. yeah. It's not as bad as Fong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no offence, but yeah. <laughs> Luckily that's not something that comes up in your everyday conversation, so. Really? You're having the wrong conversations. <laughs> oh, oh, and here goes the top hat. Uh, <laughs> You've got to have the top hat. You've got to. But okay. If it's pretty much near you need Karku Tech, who the hell would probably actually... Actually, who suggested we read the Librarium? It's not half a bad idea, come to think of it. Yeah, yeah it gives you more of a chance of finding it. We got anybody with inquiry? Um, I have literacy. Yeah, yeah but we need oh, inquiry, okay. and I just lost five points to mine. I just lost four points to mine, or two points to mine, because it's not oh, trained. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, I've not got it. Well, I've got it at 18. Isn't inquiry about talking to people? Inquiry is fellowship and it's a basic skill. Yeah, it's... Let's have a quick look at the actual... I was going to say, he has a point. Yeah. There's only so much you could do to socialise with a book. <laughs> <laughs> I would think is. literacy would be the one. Mm. 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 One second. Literacy Still. or... Literacy. Oh, that or a scholastic, yeah, scholastic law check, but I'm not sure if anyone... Or a <laughs> forbidden law. Whether, I don't know if anyone has... Well, I have forbidden law forbidden. archaeotech, actually. Well, that, that, that would kind of fit into this, I think. Yeah. Yes. Forbid, forbidden law archaeotech. That would be against my intelligence, so 70. Ready? <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm going to give you a minus 20 on that. Uh, and a plus 10 for the books, right? <laughs> yep, so it's a minus 10 overall. All right, so against 60. Here we go. That's the wrong one. Uh, yep. <laughs> Hang on, let me get the percentile dice. Oops. Eleven. Ah, yes. You spend, you know, a couple of days leafing through various scrolls and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, you are able to find hints that there were, was such a thing, um, you know, out here. Um. So. I'm trying to remember which worlds we've visited. I'm not sure if we haven't. But I'm going to put a token down in a second. And I can remember where my tokens are. There we are. Um, somewhere. Okay, so you're going to have to go down past the Cenaris Malfalcarum. Um, oh, the near the procession of the damned. Yep, down there. That is roughly the area you th you think in the book is leading you to. Talks of um, 
a use of one of these ore seekers um, to strip mine a, wor a world. Um, but it's quite an old record, of course, because it's come off the far site. Um, but as far as you know, it's still there. All right, so, seems uh, like a like a relatively safe bet. Plan. We can't possibly miss another warp jump. Why would you? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, we're going to try to jump to the place and remember, it's going to end yeah. up on Bastion. Remember the place uh. where I became cruel, callous, and vindictive? Yeah, let's go <laughs> back there. <when> <laughs> <in> the <world. laughs> yeah, that's one of the and things. I, I, was thinking, I, was, I was thinking more that, you know, that it happened so I can make fun of warp jumps now and it's in character. Mm. One thing you do here, um, talking to people, you know, just as you dock in to pick up supplies at Lucian's Breath, is that there's navigators have been reporting a, a laughing sound in the warp occasionally um, towards the south of Winterscale's realm. Sin. So, yeah, there That's is something still out there. It's not my fault you didn't completely annihilate the ship in one volley. We didn't completely annihilate the ship in one volley. I was going to say, don't try and blame me for this. I wasn't the one. Uh, let's not go there. But, yeah. <laughs> Well, Duh. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> yes, Gray is getting really irritated with that, I bet. <laughs> yeah, well, what can I do? Find a bigger stick to beat us with? Yes, basically. <laughs> there you go. See if it next time. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do we have mapped out. Uh, by the way, do we actually have a map up? Because I've not got it yet. And secondly, oh, yes, um, you just turned up. We right have maps. Brilliant, thank you. Okay, and do we actually have a mapped out route to where we need to go? Nope. Not nope. even close. Oh, goody. We never mapped the route to Carbolt because it's full of orcs. And that was about as close as we got. Yep, Point. and you also didn't map the last route for obvious reasons. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's because we don't actually know what we went. No. Uh. Well, we're at Lucens right now, aren't we? So. Yep. 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 We were going to neg negotiate some um, mining resource contracts. Either mining contracts or uh, just getting a mining machine so that we can mine our own worlds. Hmm. Yeah. Whether they want to promote competition like that, though. We're not going to Bastion, damn it. <laughs> that route doesn't go to Bastion. It goes straight to Hamelshot. Well, Hamel Shot's an unexplored world. I mean, what could possibly go wrong after how the last one went? You don't want to see Dark Guild, are yet. What do you mean, how well the last one went? That last one went great. We met an orc who's a tra traitor. Technically, what, you what you turned into a demon world count as an unexplored world because no one knew it existed for 20 millennia. Yeah, well, that's not my fault. No, it is. <laughs> no, there was literally nothing in the warp before we hit the edge of the warp storm. We had no warning there was it even anything there. So you got, we got yeah, that was a real. you got snuck up on by a warp storm. The biggest warp storm I've ever seen, no less. Exactly. How did you get snuck, <laughs> snuck up, up on, on by the largest warp storm ever? It literally wasn't there, and then bam, we're in a warp storm. You're the captain, it's your fault. No, I'm not the captain, but um, Ash is the captain. I just, sorry, I just point the ship at things. All right. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> so, do we want to go straight to the procession? Let's try that again. Do we want to go straight to Let's the procession? Let's go procession of the damned, yes. <laughs> yeah. Because that's, uh, right that's a really good idea. <laughs> do we know what that is? One thing about the procession of the damned is that if you go there, you got a nice chance of, uh, well, dying, but um, a yeah. really nice chance of finding archaeotech components. Yes, if you live long enough to get them out again. Which is Yeah. What, what, a bit of is possession of the damned? Uh, that's, think war, that's think, a ship graveyard, isn't it? It's a ship graveyard, but more it's than that, graveyard. it's surrounding a uh, dying star. Oh. And um, there's something in the uh, space around that area that likes to grab new ships and kill them. Oh. Yeah, so yeah it's let's the not other go there. Kind of ship's graveyard. It's, yes, it's the one it's that the makes its own dead ships. Yeah, it's, it's the growing ship's graveyard. Yes, that's the problem. 
Do we know what Keynes Abyss is? Do we know what, what, sorry? Keynes Abyss. Well, I'm guessing it's not named after the Commissar. Um, hang on, I'll see if it's I don't even, look. where is that? Uh, if you look directly, if you, it's right next to Bastion. Oh. Oh, Keynes no, Abyss. It yeah. It's not named yeah. after the, <laughs> it's not named after that, that Keynes. Yeah, I was, I was Wrong such a shame. Letter. Anyhow. Do we... Such a shame. But yeah, okay, so hang on. Given that distance really is relative in the warp, can we afford to do just... Do we know where the planet is to make a single jump straight to it, or are we going to have to do a sort of um, jump as close as we can? Jump, to jump as close as we can. Yeah, and then, then try some, and search um, out for it from there. Astromancy. Okay, so where was the nearest point then? Camel shot, Camel shot Chasm World, Cinder Hall, either well, those would be... Chasm World actually would be the best one, since it's actually inside the uh, same sector. Yeah, no, that was sort of the thing. So even That's if it goes horribly, even when it goes horribly wrong, we'll still be in the general area. Yeah, if. <laughs> All right. So get to Chasmed. Is it Chasmed World? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Sounds like a plan. Yep. Can we go by Terranova. Well, I don't That's think we've got winner. much to do on Terranova. I mean, I'm just saying. I think it was just for shortening the distance. Oh, yeah, I, I suppose, suppose. yeah. <laughs> That's all relative, though. I mean, yeah, it, it's all done to some discovered. dice rolls. Mm. So, it'll make and to be honest with you, if we bump into something on Chasmed World, we don't want to have given it a free warp tunnel back to Terranova. Whereas well, Lucid's Bear technically isn't ours anyway, so... <laughs> you know. Well, we don't make tunnels generally in the warp. It has to be very special circumstances that make tunnels. Is this the same sort of special circumstance where you end up landing on a planet which hasn't been in discovered for 20 millennia and then turn it into a demon world? Because we've Funnily been running enough, into those yes. fairly recently. Yeah, no, oh, yeah. So that's, um... <laughs> that's, should we not that's take on this one? I've seen, that's the only time I've seen a tunnel in the wall. Oh, God. Right, I never. An Holy and now we're going to run into, like, three of them in the next three sessions. Oh, don't even <laughs> joke. <laughs> <laughs> the laughing oh. ship just shows up behind us and we just... God damn it. Ever damn it. If, if that happens, we're going to footfall because I'm going to need some virus bombs. Are you kidding? If that happens, we go to the Letrium cluster so we get to use the virus bombs. <laughs> well, we've got to do things in order. You can't. Fu we don't have any virus bombs at the moment. Oh, yeah, we don't, do we? Fair point. That's a damn mistake right there. Okay. We need to buy some specialized ammo for our uh, macro cannons. A slightly curved hunk of metal? No, filled with, say, nuclear warheads or perhaps uh, the virus bombs. Well, yeah, virus bombs are a good choice, actually. I don't know if you can really get incendiary ammunition from a macro cannon, but it's a nice... <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't be incendiary, it would be nuclear. Oh, <laughs> oh I like the sort <laughs> Sorry. No, I'm sort of just, <laughs> just, just sort of exploding nuclearly inside all over. Anyway, uh, should we get on before I start sort of. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if they even excited make those. about that. <laughs> Aubrey has no comment on the matter. Ooh, another one. Serrated. What? Serrated. <laughs> I think as in serrated hunks of metal, so they sort of drill their way through the ship better. Yeah. Or armor better. Not sure if it's better, but if it was a glancing blow, it would tear off even more. Nobody makes a Gurren Lagan reference, please. <laughs> I wasn't. It wasn't a drill shape. It was a good, good. It was an like an I don't know knife shape, I guess maybe. <laughs> what? <laughs> I, well, no, no, hang on. If it's a knife, that would be really, really aerodynamically shit. You just have a flat plane <laughs> rotating through space. <laughs> Which is be gigantic <laughs> throwing daggers. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Space shuriken. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's a oh, God. <laughs> We've been listening space to space I was trying guns. not to get to the space shuriken thing. <laughs> Bloody hell, darling. We're losing our uh, technology now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sid, do you want to make the fatal jump? I mean, fated jump. Uh, I, I think you said it right the first time. Yeah, I'm afraid I probably Augury's did. are amazing. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I think I was right the second time, actually. <laughs> okay, so yes, you... Um, why is that not working? Don't know, we didn't see you say anything. That's the point. We can't see them. Didn't see the dice roll either. 
And we're allowed to do this one because I, because I rolled really well. I was going to say yeah, you roll like that. Look at GM's notes. There we go. Why didn't that work the first three times I wrote it? Because you misspelled it. Yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that, that wasn't anything to do. That's just to check the dice rolls work. Oh thank god. <laughs> <laughs> no, we want him to roll high like that. That way, not when not there's when an enemy around. You. Not when he's calculating what exactly we don't. Three and five. What's three do? Oh, it's all walk stuff, so it, 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 it does stuff when Grace is. What it's it, it's that kind all of just about warp stuff. Ah. Oop, wrong one. I just want to do that. <coughs> oh, sorry. I'll just do it this way. Right. So I now have a, a calculation for the warp jump. How long is it going to be, though? I'm not going to tell you yet. Because I have to find out oh, when no, we get uh, in the warp. Yeah, you do. Thank you. Okay. Um, so, you've passed your... Actually, no, I do tell you, because you've divined the organomies fantastically. Uh, it's a stable-looking route. It's 15 days. Sweet. So, looking good. And That's a pretty good style. Just six warp encounters? <laughs> no, just three, three warp encounters. That well, with our luck, it's going to be else. six or seven. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. so, translating to the um, warp. Drink. Your crew are fine. Drink. Yep. The ammo set. Now I pass the willpower save. <laughs> oh, so, yep, it's willpower for all. Huzzah. Because somebody's got to get their standard uh, phobia or malignancy. Fast. <laughs> Bash. <Okay>. Bash. <laughs> Um, <laughs> we're missing yep. one. Yep, 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 yep. Wakey, wakey, call. Oh, those are horrible coloured dice. You talk about their manly dice, clearly. He has the galiest dice in the party. Manly. All right. Real men wear pink. So. Here's that. All failed by just normal. And Bash, you failed. Like a small amount. <laughs> um, 69, 79. Yes. Two degrees of success, one short of three. So, if you want to roll me a D100 plus 20. I love how Greg calls that success. <laughs> <laughs> your failure is my success, my failure is your success. Am I, am I rolling as well? Yep, yeah, you just did a standard D100. Hooray. 18 plus 20, right? Yep. 38, just a minor phobia, and just a minor malignancy for um, goal. So I'll just skip over that. Your toe falls off. It's nothing big. <laughs> yeah. That's what we carry, is it? Yep. He probably has cybernetic appendixes at this point. Yeah, but it's, you know, most of the time the malignancy is not going to be that bad. I still say a phobia of a light bulb is a wonderful thing. Okay. So uh, you're afraid of sin. <laughs> Rightly. Now it's time to locate the Astronomicon. Which is a Domino. routine sin sinesis <coughs> uh, test. Which is, uh, well, passed by lots. Yeah. Um, now it's steering the vessel. So, challenging test. Challenging Is it challenging? I thought that the finding the Astronomicon gave a bonus or something. Um, yeah, plus 10 to the navigation test. We'll give it that roll, I think. It from challenging yeah. to... Challenging to... Well, you passed anyway. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's passing unless it's... How many degrees it's effect to pass? Ah, uh, one. Including the plus 10 from the Astronomicon. Success. Uh, well, um, it's... Challenging, and I forget that's challenging is minus 10, isn't it? No, plus zero. Oh, um, that's two degrees, three degrees then. Three degrees, quarter of the my duration. Oh, wow. Um, that's like less than six. Well, well it was well, 15 days, counters. yeah, so yeah. it's now three and a half days. Three and a half, four. four. So that's not four even days. a warp encounter. Yeah. 
Awesome. My God, Sid, what have you done? You've been competent. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yes, remember, if we do too well, he's going to turn it into an orc world or something like that. Oh, yeah. Okay, and you run target. Um, so, time for an accurate re-entry. Um, I don't think there's any real need to roll. Yeah, you just pop back. Yeah, you're on target, you just pop back in. Alright, let's see if we can't get that route. Yeah. I mean, it's a nice route. Yep. Yeah, four days. Say. Yep, four days, and no, I can't get that route. Even, with, even with a plus ten? Even with a plus ten. No, unfortunately it was a nice route, but... Wait, couldn't yeah, you get plus twenty? What from? Hover. Hover. Oh, um, uh, still fail by four. Damn it! Damn! Alright, four days later. Which is also... Nice. I'm gonna. Someone's posted in the thread just recently about how it should be altering time more, but so I'll just go to the standard 12, it's easy for the maths. Alright, 48 days later. That's without zombies. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I do not want to have to deal with blooming Nurgle zombies. Alright, you arrive above the chasm world, which. Pretty much as you, um, you know, can guess, it's got lots and lots of chasms on it. Anything there that's interesting? Uh, there's a small settlement um, of humans. Oh, okay. Are they all psychers? No, <laughs> they're not all psychers. Good. They're only fifty percent psychers. Which what? is no, which I'm is lots, thinking. but it's okay. We don't have to worry about it because it's an imperial settlement, so they know about it. The uh, black police dropping by next week to. Pick them all up. Yeah, they've basically it's pretty much a dead world. Um with just you know, the only cities live um you know are in these deep chasms where they kind of they can cover them over well enough to keep the uh, atmosphere in. So there's a, if anyone's read read the Dasadi experiment, it's pretty much that. I'm the only person who's read the Dasadi experiment excellent. Um, yep. So, yeah, lots of people crammed into very small holes. And quite low technology, no one ever really comes out here. Well, on the bright side, we hopefully haven't brought anything with us. Yet. <laughs> still the more steel left up. We are I magnets for travel. Okay, I guess we need to do some astromancy then to find this planet of ours. Yep. Or something. Well, has anybody got astromancy? I do. Uh, That's why I mentioned oh, it. I have Good. as well. I have, I have trade, astographer, and scholastic law astromancy, which are both 42s, so I don't really care which I'm rolling against. Could you use the well, librarian to help you out? Um, Maybe. Get, um, uh, I'd say you have a bonus for it, yes. But I'm, sure. I'm going to cancel that out with a negative because you're trying to um, figure out how to find a new world. So, yeah, and I'll take a foresight bonus because I'm pretty sure there's an int test, even though I don't have it written down. Yeah. So I can most of the prepare for it and go right. So rolling against fifty-two. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, give them. Yep. I think I found it. Yep, you've got a good good bead on it. Yay! Yeah, you're pretty sure you know where to head from here. You've marked, matched up the stars, counted for the few that've gone supernova, and the one or two that's turned, you know, actually new ones that have appeared. So, yeah, pretty sure you know what's going, what's happening here. Yep, we the know. Seven we the seventh, the Dark Eldar star. Yeah, <laughs> and the one we that know. keeps winking at you. And we know our final destination will be roughly somewhere there. <laughs> 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 I don't know how I'd even pull that jump off. <laughs> Probably a great amount of structural damage. That's one hell of a warp storm, I'd think. Mm. Uh, or a normal warp storm. 